Hello guys welcome to my humble YouTube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. The Anomaly, Tensura X Data Live, by Humps was Chapter 1, The Sealed Spirit. After the mysterious girl said, less than ain so far were greater than, sanctuary of all things in creation. A huge flower appeared, and at the center of that flower, a figure of the girl seemed to be praying with her hands clasped. Rimarupa of the girl, whose name was Mio Takamiya, was smirking at Rimuru. Behind her, there is a distorted halo embedded with ten stars. Bloom, her voice rang out, and right after that, rays of light were emitted from the flower, and Rimuru sensed danger from those rays. Rimuru doesn't know what those lights do but he wouldn't want to get hit by them. Quickly using thought acceleration, Rimuru starts dodging. But Rimuru was confused, he seems slower than usual and he's actually struggling to dodge some of the rays of light. Even with thought acceleration, the light was still moving very quickly, making dodging difficult for Rimuru. Less than what is happening, I should have easily dodged these rays of light, greater than Rimuru screamed internally. The light from the flower gradually spread and reached Rimuru, but did nothing happen? Rimuru was confused but he didn't show any panic and calmly handled the situation. Since Rimuru hadn't launched an attack yet, Seal was currently analyzing the individual, Mio Takamiya, in front of him and will come up with a strategy soon. Rimuru turns his gaze towards her. She just stared at Rimuru when she saw Rimuru was unharmed by the ray of lights. Rimuru could see that she was surprised. Taking advantage of her surprise, Rimuru charged at her as fast as he could, and when he was close enough, Rimuru unleashed a slash at her body. She noticed that Rimuru was coming closer, she reacted and stepped back to dodge Rimuru's slash. But Rimuru was still fast enough to slash her, but only managed to damage her dress. She looked at his hit spot and was surprised. Fufu, I didn't expect you to be able to hurt my astral dress. Looks like I've looked down on you, she said, becoming more wary of Rimuru. She jumped back to keep their distance from Rimuru, then she started to raise her left hand. Knowing that his enemy was about to do something, Rimuru prepared his stance so that he could charge forward and attack. But before Rimuru could do anything, suddenly the area around them started to change, she caused another space quake. It looked like she was bending the whole word, Rimuru felt the instability of the space around him. The surrounding space was shaking violently, and the next moment, the space around the area collapsed and teleported both her and Rimuru to the nearest world. When Rimuru noticed, the place where he was already standing was in a different world. Both Rimuru and her were standing on the same large island floating in the middle of nowhere, and around both of them, there was a strange energy like the one emanating from her body. When he looked over to her, Rimuru noticed that her face was still holding the same smile. It looked like she knew where this was. This is. This is the neighboring world, the world exists next to the real world, where the spirits live, she said, still holding a smile. Neighboring world, Rimuru said with a surprised expression. Then, she looked at Rimuru and started speaking. Isn't it time for both of us to end it here? She said, raising her hands to the sky. Rimuru noticed her actions and took a ready stance, preparing for what she was about to do. Less than Ain Sof greater than, Samsara of Paradise, she said those words and then. A massive tree appeared, with a girl statue embedded in its trunk. The tree has been decorated with flowers and branches and has started to reshape the surrounding environment, giving it a monochrome, chessboard appearance. Hum, what is this? Rimuru spoke up, seeing that his surroundings had changed. Without saying anything else, she suddenly disappeared in front of Rimuru and appeared right behind him. Immediately realizing she had teleported behind his back, Rimuru quickly turned around and attacked with his sword. But then she was no longer behind Rimuru but had teleported about 5 meters away from Rimuru. Before Rimuru could figure things out, a beam of light rose from the ground. Rimuru quickly dodged the beams of light. Strips of light continuously rose from the ground, giving Rimuru no time to rest. Knowing that the surrounding space was under the opponent's control and that if the situation remained the same, Rimuru would be at a disadvantage, he immediately asked Seal to see how things were going. Less than less than Seal. How's the analysis progressing? 
greater than greater than there was no response from seal at all less than less than tch there must be something going on greater than greater than rimuru mumbled while continuing to dodge the rays of light that continued to attack him incessantly rimuru decided to manipulate space himself to fight the enemy because he didn't want to let the enemy take the initiative forever rimuru extended his right hand toward her direction to change the space around her but for some reason rimuru can't manipulate space and even skills can't be used less than less than what is happening i can't use my skills is this place limiting me greater than greater than rimuru said in panic rimuru made a surprised expression while continuously dodging the beams of light you are strong aren't you she spoke in an almost ironic voice shut up rimuru yelled while dodging all the light perfectly fufu she let out a small giggle and then the beams of light stopped attacking rimuru rimuru turned his line of sight toward phantom she was currently standing opposite rimuru in her hand a sword was slowly forming the two constantly exchanged attacks but there was something wrong rimuru was slightly slower than her and it made him even more surprised she alternated between space manipulation and sword combat to continuously attack rimuru from all sides meanwhile what rimuru could do was simply strengthen his body and continue the battle rimuru and her have been fighting each other for a while and rimuru is starting to feel tired slimes shouldn't be able to feel physically tired but why did rimuru feel tired rimuru's movement started to slow down even more and couldn't keep up with phantom's speed knowing that rimuru is tired she takes a step back keeping her distance while rimuru is breathing heavily less than wait why am i breathing right now greater than rimuru asks confused there must be something wrong was it seal is this her plan but then rimuru noticed that she was pointing her hand toward him don't worry this will be painless i promise she started a small palm-sized flower bud that began to form on her hand an energy beam of particles concentrates on the flower bud until she speaks up less than hen it greater than bud cannon phantom's soft voice rang out and the flower bud released a concentrated energy beam realizing the danger but rimuru's body was too tired to move but at this moment there was a strange force acting on Rimuru's body that made Rimuru's body stand up and move on its own, swinging the sword to block her attack. Suddenly, a familiar energy radiated out from Rimuru's sword. Nihility energy. Noticing Rimuru's energy, she immediately jumped back quickly. Rimuru's slash radiated nihility destructive energy and charged straight into her attack, destroyed the attack, and continued towards her. But then suddenly that slash stopped in midair. Rimuru had forgotten that the surrounding area was currently under her control. Rimuru's body suddenly felt tired again and collapsed. Although he didn't understand why he felt tired, Rimuru still managed to raise his face and look at her. She was observing nihility energy being condensed in midair. The look on her face seemed to be a surprise that someone like Rimuru possessed this energy. She extended her hand to touch the destructive, nihilistic energy. Rimuru thought that she would get hurt by touching it, but contrary to Rimuru's thoughts, she touched it safely. But her next move made Rimuru feel even more surprised. The energy source in her hand suddenly condensed and turned into a crystal. That crystal had no color at all, it was completely transparent, so transparent that without the bending of light, Rimuru wouldn't be able to see it. But even more surprising was her face, who created the crystal, also had a surprised expression. She held the crystal in her hand and looked at the circle behind her with a confused expression. But then she turned to look at Rimuru again. Hesitating for a moment, she took the crystal and approached Rimuru. Noticing her approach, Rimuru tried to lift himself. Calm down, I won't do anything to you. With a slight smile on her face, she said. The way she said it made Rimuru feel confused. Weren't they just fighting each other a few seconds ago? What do you mean? In response to Rimuru's words, she knelt on one knee, placed a hand on Rimuru's head, and lightly stroked Rimuru's hair. Rimuru was completely confused by the change in the attitude of the person in front of him. She gave a gentle smile and then brought her hand holding the crystal to Rimuru's hand, using her free hand to control Rimuru's hand to grasp the crystal. Because Rimuru's current strength was, for some reason, too weak to resist, all he could do was look at her with his eyes widening. 
Seal, Rimuru tried to say those words in the hope that Seal would do something. But still, no response. At this moment, Rimuru's hand reached the crystal end. The crystal that was absorbed into Rimuru. Rimuru can sense strange energy similar to Mio Takamiya radiating through his body. After the crystal merged into Rimuru's body, she looked at Rimuru with a gentle expression and said, Sleep well. We'll see each other soon in the far future that is. Your energy was powerful and you might get in the way of my plans. She said gently, placing his hand on Rimuru's head again, much to Rimuru's surprise. This time Rimuru could perceive something similar to mental attack magic being deployed but at that moment a voice in Rimuru's head resounded. Less than less than mental attack detected. Successful prevented. Greater than greater than. That voice of seal rang out and made Rimuru feel safer. Less than less than seal. You have a lot to explain to me after this. Greater than greater than. Then Rimuru's vision suddenly blurred. And Rimuru couldn't see any more. Rimuru's consciousness gradually darkened, and Rimuru collapsed. She gently supported Rimuru's back and gently placed Rimuru on the ground before standing up. She looked at Rimuru lying motionless on the ground and spoke to herself. Although you might give me some trouble later on, Mio Takamiya said, she placed a seal on him, trapping him in the neighboring world where spirits reside. Then she vanishes.